All right, hi everybody. So I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm trying to get this out before I fall asleep, but um, I really wanted to get out tonight's remote. And uh, I decided to entitle tonight's remote, Burning Down the House, because I keep hearing that song, Burning Down the House. Oh, I put a little henna in it, if you're wondering. Yes, it's henna. All right, so uh, Burning Down the House is a strategy that the GOP, former military, uh, basically, anybody and everybody united who feels that they're a patriot, who has any dirt whatsoever on Trump and didn't feel safe before uh, to dump it, is now safe to dump it. So the next three weeks, I guess before the bail-in voting starts, uh, next three weeks expect to see a lot of dumping, and a lot of the dumping is going to be coming from former staff, uh, GOP leaders, and then at that point, it gives the Senate permission to jump ship and say, well, we didn't know, we didn't know, you know, which is always a great excuse when you don't want to, you know, own up to something. All right, so, um, hi, Mila. We're just giving ourselves a remote here. Uh, there she is, our, yes, she just had her dinner. Uh, so she sends her love, and uh, when she does that, it means that she's very happy. All right, so um, yes, the GOP is going to jump ship. Uh, I saw something interesting with DeJoy. I went ahead and followed the energy around DeJoy and I saw a, a federal criminal indictment on unrelated charges. So uh, De DeJoy is actually, un appears to be under investigation for something else because I saw the feds around him. I don't know if he had been, something weird is with him, if it's tax evasion, fraud, uh, money laundering, uh, it, he's, a, he's a hot mess as well. So the feds are already investigating him. Last thing I wanted to say is that uh, people who are going to go against Trump, uh, they see that it is a national security risk, I, I wrote. Uh, he cannot win, thank you, Mila. Uh, so in plain words, there's a feeling like they're going to do everything in their power to save the nation so that absolutely, most assuredly, the Wicked Witch is dead. That's, all, that's the best way to describe this energy. It's like they will throw everything uh, in the next three weeks they can to make sure this guy uh, goes under. Um, now, there is a possibility of something coming up. Uh, this, this kind of... Uh, links up with Kamala Harris. And uh, uh, now I, I keep thinking of her name because um, uh, Maya Rudolph is gonna be playing her like for the next couple of years, we're hoping at least. Um, but uh, my name is Kamala. It rhymes with Pamela. Yeah. So I keep doing that so that I can remember how to say her name. Anyway, I love Maya Rudolph. Somebody had said, well, what accent are you doing? I'm imitating Maya Rudolph because I like her. But um. Okay, so the last thing I was going to say is there there's, appears to be something that's going to be an accountability act or of Congress investigation. So we're going to see an accountability and accountability act where certain people are going to be investigated by Congress and they're going to have to give some type of accountability. And then the last thing I saw, the last uh, vision in the remote was I saw Adam Schiff in a judge's robe. So I'm not saying that he's going to be a Supreme Court judge. He could be just an appellate court judge. Uh, just, <laughs> um, uh, but some high circuit possibly. Uh, we could see him go up into uh, ranks as a judge. And I think the reason for that is because of a need for uh, people in positions uh, uh, as judges who, are, who can't be corrupted. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays itself out. All right, thanks everybody. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.